what do you say? It's lower. I'm gonna bring up another critical point that's gonna make a difference and I'm gonna show you why it makes a difference. All right, so what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Wolf Vision. Although not a major episode, something that could be pretty beneficial to you, not only your wallet, but your workflow. Okay, we're gonna talk about these two jacks. I have very good personal connection with them both. I've used them both on the Integra, on other cars. So I just feel that people might be wasting their money thinking they're getting something better when actually you could probably save almost 60 to 50 bucks and get something that's not only better, but we'll have a very wide spectrum of cars you could use it on. Okay, so let's talk about these low profile jacks and aluminum lightweight with the steel jack heavy duty. One is two and a half tons or two tons, the other is three tons. But we commonly look at the nice pretty blue and we say that this nice pretty, oh, by the way, we were installing these Muteki SR48s. You can get them at wolfpackperformance.net on this nissan all right i know it says infinity but it's made by nissan damn it you know the truth g35 it might be a project that is going to start a series just got a full suspension upgrade with tanabi goodies and more so we might start an episode on that the g35 project might be coming to the channel we'll see but let's talk about these jacks all right so right here i've got a nice pretty blue aluminum jack that just looks good and you you see this one all right and it's typically in harbor freight yes Yes, yes, yes. I have bought Harbor Freight Jacks. It's a damn jack. I don't give a damn. Daytona, whatever. This one, comparable to Pittsburgh, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, so listen, right here. Typically you buy this one, especially you got a car like mine, you're like, you know what? I want this low profile aluminum. It's got the nice handle on the side, which is very useful. It's light, considerably lighter than this one, which makes it easier to lug around. But there is a big but this jack is misleading when it comes to saying racing rapid pump low profile floor jack you would think that this by far might be the lowest height clearance jack they have and you would buy it and therefore in some situations it would serve in that purpose and you would never question it but when you come across a car that might just have an obstacle that's a little lower than the car subframe you start to see where shit starts coming out and today this jack got exposed and i'm going to explain why i had to bring out the big boy all right so if you look right here you can see from side view that this jack is actually lower than that one you can see it that one is at least i mean even if we get down there it's about a quarter inch higher than this jack meaning that this one is lower to the floor even if you pay attention right here seeing how low it is to the floor right here and how it sits down in this side paneling compared to this one this one's lower what do you say it's lower i'm going to bring up another critical point that's going to make a difference and i'm going to show you why it makes a difference not only is this jack lower it's longer look how much longer it sticks out they're both lined up, all right? Even this one is a little further back than this frame is. So even if we scoot it up, although the wheelbase is off the line, the frame right here is off. Even if we scoot it back to meet the wheelbase, it's still longer. And you can see it right here. So not only is the metal still heavy, Bertha, lower to the floor, she's also got a longer nose that's two pluses so lower longer means that you should be able to get across obstacles like this do you see that there that front sway bar is the problem because as you start to scoot your jack under there it will run in to this area a lot sooner than this one because this one has a longer nose allowing you to get under the nissan g35 or any other car that has a similar chassis set up a lot better and more effectively than this one so while you lug this one out pretty clean and lightweight and easy this one took a little bit more effort to get out but by far it's the better jack overall especially when it comes to price because big bertha here she's around 80 to 90 dollars we know how harbor freight does 
pretty betty here blue stainless steel side handle she runs about 134 dollars give or take some dollars there so there you go save yourself some money get big bertha not only that but big bertha will handle suvs trucks and a wide other range of vehicles because she's three tons versus the two ton if you got the three ton and pretty betty you just take up the price to 150 179 dollars now you're literally 50 percent up versus you could be saved 50 percent of your money have a jack that works better it's a little heavier plus you get a workout you need those muscles save yourself all right so that's what it comes to that's what i wanted to share with you all during my workflow i realized like hey people might be wasting unnecessary money on pretty betty when they could just get big bertha and be happy with it do that all right so i'm out of here wolf vision out save some money